Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. This reading could be for couples, people who are single, or people who are in separation. Remember that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. So let's jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? Messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For the sign of Sagittarius. Okay. So I have soulmate. It says your soulmate loves and accepts. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So I feel like some of you have been questioning if this person truly loves you, cares about you. You've been questioning how the person you are connected to feels. And spirit is confirming, yes, they love you. They genuinely accept you for who you are. This is a divine connection. Let's get some more messages. more messages for Sagittarius. Messages, okay. Mastery. It says you learn the spiritual lesson. So your journey in life, your journey when it comes to connections that you've had in the past has taught you a lot spiritually. You have grown and all of those relationships, all of the failures, the heartache that you have been through has helped to grow you as a person and because of the disappointments you have become closer with spirit you've learned how to really rest in the arms of god and to trust the process and you have been able to release and heal from a lot that you have been through and through this healing through this release this has truly evolved you you have went through a spiritual evolution and that is why spirit has gifted you with your soulmate I have intuition. It says you already know the answer you seek. So like I said, some of you have been questioning, is this the right person? And spirit is saying, yes, your intuition is guiding you, is leading you. Pay attention to the signs. This is your person. This is your gift from God, from spirit. Let's clarify. Spirit clarify soulmate. Spirit says, don't doubt. Some of you are having doubt right now. Do not doubt. This is your person. It's like some of you cannot even believe that you have this person in your life. It's like it's too good to be true. But Spirit is saying, no, believe. This is your season. This is your blessing. This is, this is what a healthy relationship, a healthy partnership looks like, feels like. Okay. So I have the nine of swords. So yes, you have went through many 
difficulties, challenges in the past that have left you hurt, that have left you in great pain, disappointment. And it's like you really cannot believe that you have this person in your life, like you're having a difficult time trusting that this person is who they present themselves to be because of all of the disappointments you've experienced in the past. But it's time for you to let that go, to release that. Everyone isn't like, isn't like your ex. Everyone doesn't think like your ex. There are actually people in the world who genuinely care about others and who are ready to give love. Let's clarify mastery. Spirit keeps saying evolution. So some of you have evolved. Evolved personally, spiritually, emotionally. So I have the hangman and I have the seven of pentacles. So yes, you have learned to release, to let go, to let go of control, to release expectations. And through this releasing, this is why you have experienced an immense growth when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to your enlightenment. You have planted seeds. You have planted seeds into yourself. And now they are starting to grow. They are starting to develop. You are starting to become a new person. And in you becoming a new person, going on this new path, Spirit has blessed you with someone who can take this journey with you. Clarify intuition. I have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is going to be a truly abundant union, an abundant connection. All you have to do is continue to pour into it. Pour into this connection. Continue to give of yourself. Do not hold back. It's okay. Spirit is saying it's okay to love. This person genuinely cares about you. Release the need to control. Like I said, this person is not like the people you've dealt with in the past. This is truly a divine connection. And you are going to experience abundance with this person. Marriage. A family. Just believe. So let's get some more messages. I have positivity. It says, if you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore you to light. Please, dear God, let me always feel gratitude for something, even a tiny thing and even the hardest situations. So Spirit is saying, be grateful. Be grateful for this person, this connection. Stop having doubt. Be grateful for this person. Cherish this person, this union that has come into your life. Be happy about it. The next card is spaciousness. It says, what do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things drain my vital essence. Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. So yes, release. Spirit says there's a need for some of you to release expectations. So maybe your expectations are too high and there's a need for you to tone it down a little bit. It's okay for you to have standards, but don't set them too high. You know, by doing that, you are minimizing your chances of really meeting people in, or of, of really meeting someone who can truly benefit your life. So be mindful of your expectations. Release. Release expectations. 
for some. And then for others of you, I feel like releasing the past, letting go, releasing all of that past hurt, that past pain. Spirit says you have love coming in. Some of you have love coming in. But first you must heal and you must let go of things and people that no longer serve you. And the last card is solitude. It says once you embrace the inner divine in your sacred solitude, the right people arrive at the right time, exactly on schedule without forcing or chasing. So yes, embrace your singlehood. Enjoy being single. In this season of singlehood, this is where you grow. This is where you develop a deeper spiritual connection. So enjoy this season. Because like I said, some of you, you do have a connection coming in, a divine counterpart. But first you must work on self before spirit can bless you with this person. So enjoy the season that you are in so that you can prepare yourself and be ready for the next season of being with the one who truly is your divine soulmate. So I'm going to pull one more card. And let's see what additional message Spirit has. Yes, embrace your singlehood. Embrace being by yourself. Because like I said, there's some healing that needs to take place. There's some releasing that needs to take place. Some of you need to let go of someone. You're still holding on to this person. Still trying to hold on to this relationship. But it's time to let it go. It's, it no longer serves. It has served its purpose. It's no, long, it's no longer valuable to your growth. You have learned everything that you need to learn with this person. And now it is time to move on. So that you can meet your soulmate. Your soulmate is waiting for you. The hold up is you. So it's your choice if you're going to stay stuck in the same cycle or if you're going to release so that you can move forward. But it is safe to love. It is safe in this season with this person. Okay. So I have three cards. So the first card says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like an eagle. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So Isaiah 31. So it's like, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord for strength. Whenever you feel like giving up, whenever it feels like it's too much, continue to trust in the Lord. Lean on spirit. Whenever you're having doubt, you feel hopeless, lean on spirit. The next card is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So yes, trust. You need to trust God. Both of these cards are saying trust. You need to trust God. You need to trust spirit. For some of you, like I said, it's a necessity for you to listen to your intuition. For you to trust divine guidance because you and this person were directed to each other and you have a divine purpose to fulfill together. So trust. Do not doubt this is your person. You've already seen the signs. You already know deep down that this person is meant for you. Let go of the fear, the fear of being hurt. This person, like I said, is not like the people you have been with in the past. They are different. And they have already shown you that. Trust what you see. The last card is, and now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and, admir and admirable. Think about things that are excellent 
and worthy of praise. Philippians 4 and 8. So yes, keep your thoughts on things that are positive. Focus on the positive aspects of this relationship. Think of how this person makes you feel, how they treat you. See things for what it is. Don't try to come up with situations. Don't try to think of things that could happen, things that could go wrong. Focus on now, what is happening in the moment. You know how this person makes you feel. They make you happy. They make you smile. Focus on those things so that you can move forward and get to your Ten of Pentacles, your completion. Because like I said, this person is a gift from spirit. So if you've been wondering, is this person the right person for me? The answer is yes. You've already seen the signs. Your intuition has already told you. Spirit has spoken. The answer is yes. So I hope that these messages resonated with someone. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.